I pray this Eve finds you well, Kane Echo Team, or at least better than it finds me. It seems I have no choice but to seek out that inspector and convince him to surrender up his mammoth to me. Twas unearthed under most suspicious circumstances, after all, and who can say what secrets, or heresy, it might hold. Therefore, the Inquisition would conduct a thorough inspection, and if needs must, destroy it. Given his affinity for the contraption, I fear the inspector may not be amenable to my request. Nevertheless, he must be made to see that it is in the interest of public safety. Would you be willing to help me persuade him? Fury be praised, at least you have seen reason. Let us pray he will as well. I am given to understand that while the inspector and his assistant have been wandering all over the city with the mammoth in tow, they often frequent the gazebo near Fordham's manor. With any luck, they will be there now. To the very pinnacle of the heavens. Isn't she adorable? Verily shall we scour all creation, from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, for the answers we seek. Every day shall be filled with grand adventures, the stuff of fairy tales and legends. Huzzah! A grand adventure in the deepest pit of the seven hells. Just so. Such is the creed of Hildai Brand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Well posed, Gigi, well posed. I dare say you have the potential to be an exemplary inspector someday. Right, that's enough of that. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Halonic Inquisitory Doctrine, I hereby command you to surrender that mammoth of suspected heretical origin into my custody. Why, hello there, Kaneko team. An Inquisitor sir, ever the jester. Accusing poor Gigi of being a clockwork heretic when tis plain to see that he is merely a precocious young lad. Oh, there you go again, confusing the poor girl. As if those big, beautiful, boxy eyes aren't the soul of femininity. Nashu, please. Were you not witness to the magnificent display of Mondervillian masculinity mere moments ago? That's cause you haven't taught her any better. She needs a proper role model to show her what's what. Mistress Payne? Inspector Sayre? What is all this commotion? We can hear you from the courtyard. Oh, Lord Edmont. My sincerest apologies for the disturbance. I am come to seize this mammoth on behalf of the Inquisition, a fact which I clearly explained to the inspector before you arrived. at which point they set to bickering about the contraption's gender. What say you, my lord? Do you think Gigi a boy or a girl? Tis clearly a strapping young lad, no. Fury take me, not you too. Has the whole world gone mad? Fine. 
fine. But even supposing that this Gigi is a real boy, you cannot deny that the circumstances of his discovery and miraculous resuscitation were most unusual. He cannot be suffered to roam the city with impunity until the Inquisition has determined he is not a threat. I beg your pardon. Miraculous resuscitation. I see. Then until such time as Gijai recovers his memory, mayhap, it would be best if you adopted him as a ward of House Mandeville. I will even stand as witness here and now, if you wish. Adopt? Then that would make me, Gigi's father? Doubtless the Inquisition would think better of taking any action which might threaten the cordial relationship between our two houses. Yes, yes, of course. I'll do it. I, Hildai Brand, Agent of Inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire, do hereby grant this child the patronage of House Manderville. Papa Hildi. Papa Hildi. The inspector's finally become a father. It's, it's so beautiful. Quite. Ahem. Now that you need no longer fear the Inquisition, you are free to show Gijai more of our fair city. Indeed, I strongly encourage you to do so. Mayhap, by the grace of the Fury, something will jog his memory. Thank you, Lord Edmont. I shall not forget this kindness. Come, my faithful assistant, my beloved son, we must away. Oh Halone, I would not presume to question your grand design, but... God, Confound it all. Well. Mayhap I cannot detain the mammoth, but I am still within my rights to observe the blasted thing. Lord Gobert will be pleased to hear that his son is as hale and healthy as ever. Not that I would ever presume to meddle on another father's behalf. And certainly not without consent. C.O.R., look at all them halberds. I've never seen such a well-armed building before. Judging by the size of their estate, they've wealth to rival House Manderville. Ack. How long must I stand around waiting for that mammoth to do something passively heretical? H.M.M.M.M.M.M.M. Come now, Gigi. Surely gazing upon this wondrous work of Ishgardian architecture stirs something within your soul? This grand manor of House Durin, ER, House Durin, male temp Sardi. Pray do not fill the boy, the mammoth's head with such nonsense. That is the supreme sacred tribunal of Halonic Inquisitory doctrine. I should know, I work there. Furthermore, I am quite certain that there is no house Duran male Tempsardi and that it is rather a ludicrous portmanteau of the four high houses, including that esteemed house which but recently stood as witness to your adoption. Well, Gigi, do you remember anything? No, nothing. I say, rather than parading him before the grandiose, why not give him a taste of something more prosaic? 
Let us make our way to the holy stables that he might bask in the singular sights, sounds, and smells of Ishgard's famous chocobos. Patience, patience. A watched heretic never sins. Such noble creatures, chocobos. How many halcyon days did I pass in the saddle, racing across the windswept plains? So if I wanted hair that color, I'd have to eat plums, vafruits, and pineapples, but how many? HMMMMMMN Splendid specimens of horse bird flesh, would you not agree? In the hands of a skilled jockey, any one of them could take first place at the saucer. It didn't. You know, just because you found him in a covert snowbank, it doesn't mean he hails from Ishgard. Which is why we ought to try taking him to the markets and exposing him to all manner of goods from across Aorzia. Excellent suggestion, Inquisitor. Wait. Am I now complicit in this farce? Fury forgive me. But I want one. I want one. Buy me a chalkabau. Please, father. Father, that strange looking thing is staring at us. Gijai gijai. Am I that strange looking? Receive your orders, detain your heretic, meet your quota. Fury take me, it used to be so simple. Frightening on occasion, I grant you, what with my mentor's little episodes, but simple nonetheless. 
What if I picked one with my eyes closed, and gave it as a name day gift to myself? Oh, I wonder what I'd get me. These goods would fetch a high price and you'll die. Why bother? It's no use. Now, now, Gigi, you must not give in to despair so easily. Did I not promise you days filled with grand adventures and the eventual discovery of your mislaid memories? Spirits, Gigi, spirits. My word, a vase flung to the ground with reckless abandon. Could this be the opening salvo of an indiscriminate campaign of vandalism? One waged by your wild gesticulations, perhaps. At least look before you strike a pose. The gods only know how much that vase cost. 123,504,000 gil, at last assessment. Twas over 700 years old and graced the homes of a dozen archbishops, eight counts, two lord commanders and one duke. 100 million gil? Oh Halone, why have you forsaken me? Well, would you look at that? It's, it's a miracle. Nay, the divine intervention of the Fury herself. Did I do that? Gigi, my boy, that was marvelous. You're a born artisan, just like father. Papa Hildy's papa. Your grandpapa Godbert, the man who woke you with a few gentle taps to the noggin. You wouldn't believe what else he can do with that hammer of his. Why, some folks say he wilds the very powers of life and death. Once he and the missus come back from their tour of the Western Highlands, I'm sure they'd love to see that trick of yours. Do not demean this mammoth's power as a mere parlor trick. We just witnessed a miracle, and I demand that you all acknowledge it. This, ma millimeter it. Sir. I say, sir. 100 million gil for the mammoth. Nay, 100 million gil and the duke's priceless vase. My word, is this what passes for trade in Ishgard? Gigi is my flesh and blood. I will not sell him at any price. Please, Papa Hildy, no more. I know you mean well, but we can deny the truth no longer. I am a mamillimeter it. Gigi, whatever has gotten into you? You are my son. You are a Manderville man. Listen to your papa, Gigi. You're a Manderville girl, through and through. Stop it, both of you. You're not my papa or my mama.
ah, the unmistakable scent of, well, perhaps not heresy exactly. Regardless, that mammoth's power cannot be allowed to fall into the wrong hands. Oh, children do say the most hurtful things. Well, it is only to be expected. Gigi is at a rebellious age. Strange as it may sound, I too tested my parents' patience, and that on more than one occasion. But if they could weather the storm, then so can I. I say we find out what's got him thinking he's a mammoth. But he is a mammoth. How can you not? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs>